Hello! In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how we envisage smart evidence in Mahara to work with individual pieces of evidence. What you will see is a mock-up of the functionality to be built. While this demonstration is in English, the interface can be changed to any language that your learners prefer, as Mahara can be translated. That also includes the mobile app. The idea of the functionality was validated with an apprenticeship organization in New Zealand to ensure it meets the requirements of the sector. You may have different requirements. These can be reviewed and implemented. During this demo, you will meet Johnny, who wants to become a carpenter. As part of his apprenticeship, he needs to gain a series of skills and competencies to receive his certificate. And there is Tabitha who is Johnny's training advisor. She evaluates Johnny and other learners on a regular basis online by reviewing their evidence. She also visits Johnny at his apprenticeship company every four weeks to discuss the progress with him. Johnny is on a construction site and wonders what competencies he still needs to demonstrate. He opens his mobile app and clicks the overview button to see a list containing all the competencies and their description. There he sees that he still needs to complete the fundamentals section and in there the tool use. So he goes back to his home screen and asks one of his colleagues to take a photo or video of him demonstrating the good use of a hammer as he'd been practicing that for the past couple of hours. He can have the picture taken directly or choose from any of his existing ones. Once he's uploaded the photo, he can add details to it to describe it and also immediately align it to the correct competency. He then uploads his evidence to Mahara, where it will be pushed directly into his competency portfolio for carpentry. He can also upload files from his computer if he has access to one and align these files to competencies. He can view his uploaded evidence in Mahara and see which competencies he's already completed and on what he still needs to work. Now, when Tabitha, Johnny's training advisor, reviews his evidence, she does that either from a tablet or laptop. She could also evaluate the evidence using her smartphone and access Johnny's portfolio online there. Tabitha sees all the learners that she's in charge of on her dashboard to quickly jump into their portfolios. She clicks the link to the overview as she can see there quickly for which competencies Johnny already uploaded evidence and which evidence she's already reviewed. She sees that Johnny uploaded a new piece of evidence that she hasn't seen yet. She clicks on it and sees the details for the evidence. Tabitha makes her assessment, which is added immediately and is also visible to Johnny. She can favorite evidence that she wants to discuss with Johnny either online or during her next site visit to him. Tabitha can also access the list of evidence that Johnny added to his construction work portfolio to browse through it and use filters to display only certain pieces that she is interested in. Once she's satisfied with Johnny's progress, she can sign off an entire competency area to indicate to Johnny and also to herself that no further evidence is required. This was a brief overview of the main areas of the smart evidence for individual pieces of evidence functionality. If you'd like to learn more, please get in touch.